heard about SpaceX. Let's do a short introduction on the company first. Space Exploration Technologies Corporation popularly known as SpaceX was founded by Elon Musk, Space Transportation, and Aerospace Company, in 2002. Elon Musk is also the CEO of Tesla. And most recently, he signed an agreement to pay $44 billion in April 2022 to buy the social networking site Twitter. SpaceX unveiled the Dragon delivery ship in 2006 after spending 18 months developing it. Falcon, which was created to carry people and goods into orbit, quickly followed it. But, why has SpaceX paused its Starlink launches? Since 2019, SpaceX has been flying monthly Starlink missions to construct its network of over 20,000 internet-beaming satellites for broadband purposes. In 2020 and the beginning of 2021, the business considerably boosted the frequency of its launches, launching Falcon 9 rockets with 60 Starlink satellites on each flight nearly twice a month. SpaceX has so far launched 1,740 satellites into low Earth orbit. Since June 30, the business has abruptly halted its Starlink deployments. SpaceX President Gwynne Shotwell spoke at the 36th Annual Space Symposium on Tuesday, August 24, where she explained why the company has not yet launched any Falcon 9 Starlink flights. Shotwell claimed that SpaceX made the choice to halt Starlink flights in order to finish producing the initial batches of satellites of the next generation fitted with laser communication links. Shotwell stated, they are flying numerous laser terminals right now in space. They are working on building enough laser-equipped satellites to launch on future missions. They wanted the following set to have laser terminals on them, which is why they have been late on the Starlink launches. Only a dozen of the active satellites are equipped with laser links also known as space lasers or polar orbit, which allow them to communicate with one another without having to first communicate with a ground station on the surface. This allows for a faster data transfer rate in orbit. Without the requirement for ground stations located over the poles, the satellites in polar orbit with inter-satellite laser links would be able to beam internet connectivity to remote places like Alaska. The space lasers from SpaceX are capable of transferring hundreds of gigabytes of data, according to engineers last year. Since light travels more quickly in a vacuum than it does over optical wires, data sent over Starlink is received much more quickly. At the Space Symposium, Shotwell also spoke about different parts of their Starlink division. She stated that the business is trying to lower the cost of producing its Starlink phased array dish antenna. There is the exception of the user terminal, but, they were able to address practically all cost components prior to service rollout. Even though they have tried to lower the cost, it is still higher than the average consumer can pay, without being particularly proud she also said that, with every customer they get, they lose money on the user terminal since the number of consumers would become lower. According to prior statements made by company representatives, each customer dish terminal costs them about $1,000 US dollars, but at the current price of $499 US dollars, they only recover about half of their initial investment. But, SpaceX is attempting to lower its production costs, according to Shotwell. They think that will be able to cut the costs in half again. Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, claimed two months back, that his company had delivered 100,000 Starlink terminals to clients in 14 different nations. SpaceX has been a pioneer in space exploration, it has provided us with numerous information about outer space in recent years. Hopefully, Starlink launches go smoothly as well and we are able to get a faster and cheaper network globally. For more such content, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel, Explified.